Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a full day of eating, but there's gonna be a little bit of a twist with this one in that I can only eat foods that start with a specific letter. Now that letter is gonna be decided by a random letter generator. And there's gonna be two rules to this challenge. So rule number one is that for each meal, I've got to eat an item that begins with that particular letter. Now because this is a challenge, I'm gonna try my best to try and eat everything throughout the day that begins with that particular letter. But when you're making meals and things, it's quite difficult to try and get everything in there that all starts with the same letter. But I'm gonna try my best. And rule number two is that I can't eat the same item more than once. So with that being said, let's get into this. So I've loaded up a website which is, um, it's got a random generator wheel on there. So I'm just gonna give this a spin and see what letter we land on. So it's landed on the letter R. So now I'm gonna be choosing foods throughout the day that are gonna be starting with the letter R. So I'm gonna take some time to sort of plan what I'm gonna be eating for the day. So obviously I'm not got everything in the house that I'm gonna be needing for this. So I'm gonna go out and get the items in and then we're gonna start this challenge. So I've just got back in now. Um, I've got all my food for the day. It was quite difficult actually to do that. Um, I could have looked online for sort of some inspiration really if I wanted to, but I thought it would be more fun to sort of just walk around the shops just looking for items that started with the letter R and try and sort of make some meals from that really. So yes, yeah, so I've got quite a few things in. Most of the items are gonna start with the correct letter, but there is gonna be a little bit of deviation in there to make up some meals and things. Yeah, so I'm really interested to give this one a go. So let's start making some breakfast. Right then, so this is breakfast done. So I've got some red onion and chive uh, bagels. So I've got two of those. And then I've also got a bowl of Rice Krispies. There's 85 grams in here in total. So I'm not quite sure how much calories this comes to. It's not gonna be a huge amount, but I'll put whatever the calories are for this up here. So yeah, I'm gonna try and uh, enjoy this. It's not what I normally would have for breakfast, obviously. Very bland. Um, I would definitely, I've wanted some protein in here to be honest with you. But I have got some items that's got quite a bit of protein in that I'm going to be fitting in throughout the day. So it's just the breakfast really that's not really getting it. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy this anyway. Done. Yeah, it's not really filled me up that much to be honest with that. For those of you that have seen any of my previous full day of eating videos that I've done, you'll know that I tend to have a really big breakfast. I tend to have a really big meal in the morning. It sort of sets me up for hours. But yeah, that, it, it, because it was lacking the protein, it hasn't really filled me up that much to be honest with you. So I'll probably be ready to eat again in a few hours time. So that's breakfast out of the way and I'll catch you later for the next meal. So a couple of hours have gone since my breakfast. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick snack because I'm just about to head out because I've just uh, just received an alert um, regarding a purchase that I've been waiting to make for a while. So yeah, I'm gonna be going out to pick that up. I'm gonna show you what that is when I get back. So for my snack, I've just got a pack of Royster's T-bone steak crisps. And I'm also having a raspberry filled donut as well so yeah so i'm gonna eat this and then i'm gonna go and pick up my purchase which i am really excited about so i will see you when i get back home okay so i've just got back and as you can see i'm really excited so i'm sure you want to find out what it is that i've actually purchased um, or maybe you don't but i'm going to show you anyway so i have purchased he's only going to bagged himself a ps5 seriously i've been trying to get hold of one of these for months absolute months and every time i've sort of tried to log on to find one it's always been sold out so i downloaded this app that um basically checks uh for stock on uh, stores um and when obviously 
a particular retailer has has it in stock it will it alerts you so anyways after many many failed attempts i uh, i got an alert the other night about four o'clock in the morning it was woke me up um so i jumped out of my bed and i look at it and i was able to to, to, to finally buy one from uh, from from a store that was it was about an hour away from here so it's a bit of a drive to pick it up but it's definitely worth it yes yeah, so i'm going to be setting this beauty up later but first i've got a video to finish filming so it's just getting up to dinner time now so let's start making some dinner oh there you are so it's dinner time now so i'm just going to put something together for dinner so for this dinner i've got some roast chicken breast slices i'm going to have that with some roast potatoes and then I'm also going to have some red cabbage with that too. So let's get that prepared. And that is dinner done. So I've got 300 grams of roast potatoes, 200 grams of roast chicken slices, and also some red cabbage on there as well. I'm not a massive fan of red cabbage, to be honest with you. I normally would have like peas or asparagus or something. Um, I've also drizzled some gravy on top of there as well. So we'll keep that one between me and you so my battery is about to die on my camera so i'm not going to be able to do a time lapse of me actually eating this so i'm going to charge the battery and then i'm going to continue recording once i've got this down me so it's been a couple of hours since i had my meal um i actually enjoyed the cabbage more than i thought I would to be honest with you so i'm just about to do a workout in the home gym i'm going to be working chest and triceps today so i'm gonna have a quick pre-workout snack before this and for this snack i have got a scoop of raspberry whey protein i'm gonna have 100 grams of raspberries as well and i'm also gonna have a pack of rollos i've not had these in absolute years to be honest with you i used to love these when i was a kid but i don't eat them so much these days so yeah i'm gonna get these a uh, few bits down me and then i'm gonna hit the session in the gym i'm not gonna bother filming the session this time so i will catch you after i've finished so i've just finished my session in the gym uh, my chest is absolutely fried today um, it's been a tough workout to be honest with you. I'm trying to reach 120 kilos on the bench. I'm wanting to try and reach that in, within 12 months. So I'm going to be doing sort of a video series and um, obviously documenting me trying to reach that goal. Um, I'm currently around about 82 and a half kilos at the moment on the bench. So I've got a long way to go. So I'm going to make my final meal of the day now. So yeah, so let's get into it. So for my final meal of the day, I'm going to have a roasted tomato and pepper fajita kit and my protein of choice for that is going to be a rump steak and then i'm going to have some red peppers with that a red onion and also a little bit of red leicester cheese so i'm going to get all this prepared and put together okay so we're on to the final meal of the evening so just to recap what i've got so it is a roasted tomato and pepper fajita kit with red peppers red onions and then for the protein i've got rump steak in there as well so i couldn't fit everything in the uh, wrap so i've just got some on the side as well to eat it's proper smoky in this room at the moment because i i forgot to put the extractor fan on when i was uh, cooking it's quite late at night now as well so Hope I don't wake up uh, the missus. So I forgot to mention as well, um, the drink that I've been drinking throughout the day, um, that is Robinson's Summer Fruits uh, with no added sugar in that. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this final meal down me um, and I'm gonna cut to a time-lapse in three, two, one. <laughs> the final meal complete whoo that was quite spicy that i always tend to get a really runny nose when i have spicy food i'm not sure if i mentioned there was um, also some red leicester cheese in there as well i put in 20 grams split between uh, the three fajitas so as i mentioned that's the final meal of the day for those of you that want to know i will put the total calories and the macros for everything that i've eaten today up 
here. And that brings me to the end of this video. I've really enjoyed this challenge. So let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed this challenge and whether you want me to do this again in the future with a different letter. So as I said, this brings me to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you on the next one.